You hear that? That's the awkward silence of a family dinner after you just got caught vaping. Most vapes contain high levels of nicotine and disappointment. <sighs> Brought to you by The Real Cost and the FDA. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Boss Boss Show. And in today's episode, I wanted to talk on a video game, but not in a negative way. So I don't want people to be jumping to conclusions like, oh, okay, he, he, another game that made him upset. Let's see what he got to say today. No, like, I, I'm giving up on, like, games that remotely just stress me out. I'm deleting them. I'm, like, I'm, I'm trying to be happy when I play a game. So, like, if I'm constantly being upset, I'm deleting the game regardless. I'm not giving it no more chances. I'm not playing it, streaming it, none of that stuff. Like, there have been times where I have said I'm going to stream a game tonight and then I'll stream it, and then, you know, it'll be on some dumb stuff like The Division 2, where it just wants to randomly crash, and you can have all these different games where it has no issues, and then you go online, and then it's like, oh, uh, if you disable this, or do this, or do that, then the game will work, and then you end up doing it, and it still crashes, and it's like, okay, well, that game is stupid, delete it, you got where Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, that game won't even start up, okay, delete it, you got where other games out there, where it has, like, this random, like, stutter or frame right issue and it didn't have that issue before so it's like okay delete it so yeah there have been games where it's like i i have just given up on them because i'm like what what's the issue because i'm like you you guys literally have a team of people working on this game and you mean to tell me in the game that i'm gonna be talking about today this there's only one one person developing this game working on it actively the game is in early access so like yeah if it's buggy and glitchy like if you see me because i've been streaming it so if you see me stream it if you see me making videos on it and all that stuff then you can you'll probably look and see like oh okay like no you can definitely tell that's an early access game or you know not a whole lot of development has went into it but it's like yeah you know it's like you got one person um developing the game yeah of course like the development is gonna you know it's gonna take a while and stuff but it's there it's mad respect to this man for developing this game like i've been playing this game and it's a game where i'm like i you know when i very first had heard about it i was like oh this game sounds like it's going to be fun. Then when you play it and you actually figure out what to do, how to do it and all that stuff, the excuse me, the game, I, I would have to say this is probably one of the biggest games that I've played since uh Fuel. Like or or maybe well, all right, so here's the thing. So this um this video game is called Spaceborn 2. And this game it, it's like No Man's Sky, Mass Effect, um there's this one game that they've compared it to hold on let me open up steam real quick but it's uh there's this one game where it's like it was supposed to be like this game but for some reason that you know that game has been i think they said that game's been in development for like nine years here was this game it just recently came out uh spaceborne 2 so hold on let me open up um so steam just opened up all right library and matter of fact there's like got an update today i'm glad i checked that and things because bro i'm telling you if i wonder how long this up oh that's not that's not a long update and you know plus i did a bunch of um up re upgrades recently to my pc yeah that's that's not gonna take that long so uh where's that um review at I can't even find it anymore because they they compared it to a uh, um a game and i was like that's why i wanted to check it out but I mean, bro, the the game is like it's it's insane. Like it, it's honestly crazy that all this stuff that's put into this game from where you got like this uh spaceship that shoots out rockets. Your character has a jetpack so he can fly around in space and all that stuff. And yeah, and then that's what I mean by like comparing it to No Man's Sky, like all the different places that you can go to and I'm like why why is this game so big <laughs> like it, it really trips me out that it's like and one one person he and he, he's uh he's from turkey his name is um borak uh uh D dabak or D um, i don't know i don't know how to say his name but anyways it's a really dope game and it's like it's a game that i think a lot of people need to check out i'm talking on it now but who knows maybe i and see here's the thing where it's like 
I've had my anger issues with the game because there have been times where I would get stuck on stuff, you know, and or like uh, they have it on there where you can um, replace weapons on your spaceship. And then there was a point where I had I thought I had added weapons to my spaceship, but how the menu is set up, it, it makes it look a little weird how you think you then added something, but you didn't. You got press like an additional button and stuff. So I'm like, OK, you know, it's just there's there's some like flaws with it. But at the same time, it's like. Only one person is working on this game. So, like, I, and for him to work on this game, it really motivates people to, like, okay, you know, if this man by himself can work on this game and it can be a great game eventually at some point in time, like, when it gets, like, more publicity and recognition and stuff, I, I mean, like, it should really motivate uh like at like like not well okay maybe not like i i feel like saying uh real developers because this guy he is a real developer like everything that he's done to this game no he in my opinion he's better than a lot of developers out there so like to to this man that has developed this game it's like sir i appreciate you i appreciate you for showcasing that an indie all right an indie developer can do better than a big developer and that's what's crazy about like a lot of indie developers today is that they're doing better than the big developers the higher ups they're doing better than the activisions the eas the 2ks the the ubisofts you mean to tell me it's like these guys are putting millions into their video games and you mean to tell me some random man okay across the world he can make a video game and it being good than a lot of the different games that's out there today nah bro get get out of here with that I, I i refuse i refuse okay to believe that this man has just outshined all right and the thing is this even if it's not only him just working on it maybe if he did have some additional help it's still a good game like honestly at, at the end of the day whatever he is doing to this game keep doing it like, you have, and the thing is this, like, there have been issues with the game, he has fixed it. Like, that was one of the reasons why I, like, did, I kind of, because I did, so I'll admit, I did get rid of the game, because it was, like, it was under that two-hour mark. No, because, like, it, it was glitchy and buggy when it very first came out, and the, the, uh, the thing is that I was kind of tripping out about was that, because I'm, I'm big on games where you could create a character, right? Like, so I'm like, if I could create a character, I'm going to create the best-looking version of a, a video game version of T-Moss Boss. But the thing that the thing is, is this. There's, there's a key feature about T-Moss Boss that I feel like that, you know, the like the actual the actual t moss boss that he shares with a lot uh different you know video game versions of him that key feature is that t moss boss in case if you guys did not know if y'all didn't know t moss boss is african-american <laughs> so when i'm playing a game if they have that option i'm gonna use that option for some reason when i was playing this game when it very first came out i would make my character black game starts up my character is beige it's like a ghostly beige color like he's like he's mixed with african-american and like in death <laughs> like it, it's it's almost like it's it's just it didn't look right it, it wasn't like blake griffin but it was like if blake griffin was like a vampire or a zombie or something like that's honestly the best way that i could describe it where it's like his, his skin is like it, it don't look right like it looked like he's been dead for some time but he came back to life or something like it ain't even like on no like zombie time like it, it was like as if he was in a coma and then he woke up as a zombie and stuff so like it, it was like it's almost like not well not even that like it ain't even like braxton from uh the jamie fox show like it like i said it's like a ghostly like a biracial person and stuff and it just it, it didn't look right and i'm like that's not what i had chose i chose an african-american man all right so why why is it not why is it not doing that and so yeah I, um like yeah i was like nah bro it's like if you're gonna have that option it's like i want to be able to take advantage of that option and stuff but 
the game was messing up, but eventually the uh, developer, he patched it, he fixed it. So my character now, that man is African American. <laughs> so anyways, uh, but yeah, then I started playing the game and it was like all of the exploring and just different places that you can go to. It, it honestly trips me out that this game, it's, it's like, bro, it, it's almost as if it's like that game, No Man's Sky. Like I remember when No Man's Sky came out because I'm big on like games where you can explore and do stuff and things so like there was a point in time when I was playing No Man's Sky and yeah I was exploring I was doing and it was funny because I think it was yeah it was sometime before I started paying attention to this game I wanted to download No Man's Sky I was like no I want to stream that I just want to you know just be going around just traveling to different planets and stuff and you know just just exploring and things and then this game comes out and I'm like okay, I, I think I found, like, you know, a, a substitute and stuff, and, yeah, like I said, like, you know, it's one person developing the game, so obviously, yeah, the game is in, it's, like, in an early, early, early access, but at the same time, though, like, no, it's a great game, it's one of those games where it's, like, I, I just think that people, you either need to watch videos on it, or um, you just go and play it yourself, because, like, that's a uh, cool thing about it, is that, uh, oh, Steam got an update, too, so, um, but anyways, um, the cool thing about this game that it doesn't even really cost that much. It cost, uh, bruh, and this, nah, man, I, I really gotta get me, um, a Steam Deck, because the Steam Deck is like, it's kind of like a Nintendo Switch, but it's a PC and stuff. I bro, I'm telling you, there's gonna, I'm, I, I gotta get me a Steam Deck this summer. That, that's one thing I gotta do. I gotta play me some PC games on that, because it's, it's just, man, this game, it, it's Steam Deck compatible, so, uh, if you are, if you do have a Steam Deck, or they, you do plan on investing in a Steam Deck, you can play this game, and it's, bro, and that's the one thing that I love, is that it's a single player game. Now, I will, like, I would like if they did have a co-op feature so, like, I can play with friends because there's some friends where I'm like, no, we got to play this game together and stuff because it, it's just, it's such a dope game and things. But I do like the fact, though, that it's, uh, you know, it's an, um, it's a single player game because there's too many multiplayer games, man. Like, there's too many games where it's like, oh, well, we, we got to add this multiplayer feature. Well, we got to add this online feature. And then it's like, you can't even play the game. You can't even have fun because it's like, oh, you got to find a dedicated server and all this other extra stuff. So, yeah, I'm like, I, I'm not I'm not feeling that, you know, I'm, I'm not feeling. Oh, but no, they they did say that uh, um, in the description, the guy he was talking on. So, like, I, I all right, so I'm going to read. I'm going to read, like, all the different um, things in the uh, early access description. But, I mean, you guys can read it for yourself and stuff. But, anyway, so... Uh um, with Steam, they always ask like these same questions for everybody that puts their game in uh, early access. But the first question being why early access, and he goes on to say because we want to further develop it with the help of early access players. As a single person, independent developer, this is the best way to get feedback and improve the game. Facts, one hundred percent facts. Like somebody that actually sits down and takes the time to listen to their audience. That's why I have a lot of respect for this person. Then he goes on to say, we were able to bring our previous game to great heights with the help of early access players, and we hope to do the same with this game by working together with our early access community. We are confident that we can create something truly special. And then they, um, the next question is approximately how long will this game be in early access? And then he goes on to say, Spaceborne 2 is a game that has been continuously developed for approximately three years. During the early access period, we have some major features that we plan to add based on the feedback from players. Our goal is to incorporate these features and release the full version in 2023 this year. So, but that's the thing though, where it's like, and you know what? I feel like it's a blessing that this game, because I, I think everybody knows, like, I was really big on the uh, video game um, the day before coming out. And I think that it's a blessing that I got to see this game and that game got delayed because I'm like, well, now I got something to do until, uh, and I mean, I don't know, like, I don't know how long I got before I eventually do sit down and beat this game, but it, it's such a big game where it, even they have like a long term effect where it's like, you could just go and do like side missions and stuff. 
though. So yeah, there's there's that in the game also, you know. But anyways, then uh, they're going to ask um, St um, Steam. So they're going to ask, how is the full version plan to differ from the early access version? And then he goes on to say, we have um, we have plans to add a multitude of new content to the game, including a large variety of missions and an expanded faction system for more for a more immersive uh experience and it's like bro i i mean like it just seems like all right unless like what the missions that i'm doing right now like there's only a few missions and then after that it's over with if that's the case then i'm like yeah it's quick i have yet to like i don't even feel like i've reached to a certain point in the game yet like i think i've only done maybe a few missions and things other than that like i've gotten to the point for anybody that's uh a player of this game i've gotten to the point where now they've given me a second spaceship and i think i've done like the next part after that and stuff so if if i'm like at the halfway point then i guess i am but if not i, I feel like people are gonna probably be all like uh oh oh wait a minute oh dang so no it like i'm only at so i'm only at 6.2 hours so that leads into the next thing uh, so they go on to say, what is the current state of the early access version? And then uh, um, the developer goes on to say, Spaceborne 2 is a is in a playable state with beta players logging over 200 um, hours of gameplay. With the exception of some minor bugs that may be present, the game already offers a solid foundation with its main story. However, there are some missing elements that we plan to address during the early access period. 200 hours, bro? 200 hours and i'm only at the six hour mark like that is crazy i and then it's like i feel like i'm gonna get all the way to that point because there are other games i'm gonna be playing and stuff so i'm gonna, i feel like i am gonna eventually get to that 200 hour mark and then there's gonna be like all this like all this different content that's being added and stuff i mean the man is like constantly updating the game so yeah it, it just it, it really trips me out and things and then, then I do like this. Uh, um, so Steam, they ask, uh, will the game be priced differently during um, and after early access? So what they overall mean by that is like, is the price going to uh, raise? Because most with most uh, early access games, um, they'll like so like for an example, a game may start off in early access at like twenty dollars, and then um, as the time progresses on, when they add new content, then they might um raise the price up to like ten dollars. So instead of it being like nineteen ninety nine, now it's twenty ninety nine, and then when it gets like a full release, then it's at thirty nine ninety nine or fifty nine ninety nine, whatever, depending on how much content they add. The developer goes on to say, we don't plan to change the price. That's why I have respect for this person, because you're coming out with a game that has a price. You're adding content. The game is big already. I, I mean, like, I that, that's just that's just dope, man. And so then they um then the last question is, how are you planning on involving the community in the development process? Then he goes on to say, we have been actively collaborating with our gaming community since the launch of the first Spaceborne game in 2018. We are uh, developing our games with the feedback of our players. If you have any feedback, the best place to share it um, would be the Steam forum on an official Discord. Yeah, like, I no, nah, man, I, I just think that that's dope. I, I just think that it's dope that, uh, you know, this person is working on this game and there's just so much to do in it and things. Like, you, you really feel like this, like like this space legend and stuff going around the part the part they sold me was the jetpack like i know i know people are gonna probably ask me like oh what's your favorite thing about the game it's the jet the jetpack bro like the fact that i can get out i can get out of my spaceship it could i can put my spaceship in like space park all right <laughs> put it in space park jump up out of there with the jetpack and then just be just flying and stuff like nah man you you can't tell me if there's planets that i can go to in this game where you could just explore explore and then that's another thing where it's like you ain't got like a bunch of wild things you, the only thing that you really do have is like enemies um you know like random aliens attacking you and stuff and then that's another thing where it's like with this game and i haven't played to that point yet and it kind of makes me nervous because i you, it just seems like every game developer today they're all like oh well let's add like some giant creepy looking insects in the game to just really throw the game off balance i i don't like that i i really hope that the developer doesn't do that it's like yeah bro just continue adding aliens it kind of reminds me of like destiny a little bit you know and so it, it has that feel so i'm like if it's going to be going in that in that path 
okay, cool. But if it's going to be going in the path where it's like, oh, let's just start adding random giant. I, I just don't, I don't like that stuff, man. So I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that he does not do that. But if he does, then yeah, you know, I'm going to play as much of this game as I can until it gets to that point. And then afterwards, I think I'm going to go back to my racing games. So that would be crazy. Like he hears this and he's all like, hey, so new update. We're going to be adding a racing mode where, you know, you can race up against other spaceships. And so he does that. Then I'm like, nah, man. And it's like, I'm, I'm saying, do you want to be best friends or not? Like, because if you're going to be doing stuff to, like, you know, to get to me to uh, an emotional gaming state, then, yeah, bro, you you do some stuff like that. Then, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm saying, like, do you want to be best friends or not? Like, I'm, you know, you doing stuff like that. It's like, no, nah, we, we got to talk about that. All right. So, but anyways, no, nah, man, jokes aside. Uh, Spaceborne 2 is a really good game. I definitely recommend it to anybody looking for uh, a game, a new game to start off, um, start off on, and to just overall support an uh, indie developer and stuff. So uh, yeah, go check it out. It's available on Steam. Um, I don't know if it's available on uh, other platforms like Epic Games or anywhere else. Um, but I, yeah, I think overall it is um, just available on uh, Steam and stuff. So let me look it up. I would honestly, if, if there's all like, um, if he contacted me and was all like, Hey, we want you to, um, be a part of the game. Uh, do you, would, is that cool? I'm like, I support it. And I'm like, no, I, I would 100% want to be a part of, uh, the game. If there was like, they had me as a voice character or even bro, I, bro, I'm telling you, like, I just started thinking about it and I'm like, it would be so dope. Right. If he goes and he contacts me, he's all like, hey, we want you to be a villain in the game. Oh, I would 100% be a villain in this game. Like, I no, I'm saying, like, to whoever this, um, to the, or, you know, uh, B Borak, um, D uh, Debak, I, I just, I felt like I'm butchering his name, but... Um, anyways, if I'm saying if you need somebody to be a villain in this game, I got you, bro. I'm like, I will be, or even a hero, whatever the situation is. I'm like, I, I, I'm, I, I'm doing it. I want it. I want to do that. All right. So anyways, uh, but yeah, Star Citizen, that's the name of the game that people were comparing it to. So, all right. So, but now, like now that that's been out of the way and if you guys know of that game, then okay. But anyways, um, but yeah, make sure y'all go show some love and support to this, uh, game. And, uh, yeah, and that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. If you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're viewing this on a podcast streaming service, make sure you follow or subscribe, however it's set up. Make sure you subscribe to one of my 46 YouTube channels. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram at Boss, And make sure you follow my Facebook page at Boss Fan Page. Also, if you are purchasing any tickets from SeatGeek, make sure you use my promo code Boss. It will knock $20 off your first purchase. And if you are purchasing any uh, energy drinks or sleep drinks from poggers make sure you use my promo code tmosboss it will knock 10 percent off your next purchase and if you're purchasing any controller um skin covers um or even uh analog um grip covers whatever you want to call them and things i, I feel like I, I get to that point that when i be promoting fatal grips and then just start like i, I just i start losing it i don't know why but i just start losing it but anyways if you're purchasing anything from fatal grips you can use my promo code tmosboss and it will also knock 10 percent off your next purchase so and that being said i will talk to y'all later thank you guys for watching and or listening and peace